Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for February 12th through the 18th. And since this is supposed to be a week of love, I took out two love oracle decks so we will see what comes up. These readings are typically for people that are struggling within a relationship, okay? So I just want you to keep that into consideration. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. So, you know, this, this tells me that love heals. Love heals. Maybe you've gone through a difficult time and somebody is around now that wants to offer you some love. I'm not going to I didn't have time to shuffle. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not going to be shuffling, okay? So anyway, love makes the difference. Um, keep that in mind. I think there's somebody around you that is that can help you to heal. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Ooh, that's really cool. Awesome. question is, do you believe it? We'll start with those. Lack of confidence. It's time for you, you to uh, find your inner strength, okay? It's time for you to find your gentle compassion within, okay? And have compassion for yourself. All right. I feel like many of you are going through some sort of renewal, perhaps. You're going through a rebirth, but there's still a lack of confidence here. <laughs> there's the strength that you need. Oh, that's so funny. This is you lacking confidence, lacking strength. Okay, you need to use your inner strength. You need to grow your inner strength, which is also compassion. Okay, so there's a lack of, of strength in certainly some area of your life. And it has to do with confidence. Like you don't have enough confidence to do something. And we'll get right into it and see what it is. But there's, there's a lack of um, self-worth perhaps. Oh, this is self-worth. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Yeah, there's a lack of self-worth here. And I feel like there's somebody around in your environment that may be able to help you heal that lack of self-worth. Okay? I feel, you know, here I see that it's letting go of depression, letting go of anxiety. So there's, there's somebody around you that can help you heal. Definitely. Somebody that's very motherly and caring and compassionate. There's somebody around you that is very motherly, caring, and compassionate. It could be a Taurus. Okay, I, you know, I don't know. This is the sign of Taurus. All right. So, interesting. There's your, there's your, you know, oh, thinking about it too much. You may be thinking about this person. Or there's just too much a analyzing going on rather than taking action. And that you're, you can't take action because there's lack of confidence. And here I see that you, it's, you're really thinking about it, thinking about it, weighing your decisions. What should I do? I think that many of you um, are thinking about letting go of some sort of emptiness within you. It's like I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. And, you know, many of you want to communicate with somebody or you are. It's like... Here, there's still, again, a lack of confidence, but lack of strength, but there's communication that is desirable, okay? Somebody, I think they want to talk, and all they have to do is talk, communicate. Um, you know, I think many of you were probably dealing with a water sign at one point that made you feel like you were being criticized. They made you feel like you were being attacked. They may, they may have taken away your self-esteem, your self-worth, okay? Because here's your water sign that, you know, with these two reversals right here, don't look good. You could be dealing with another water sign that has kind of stolen your um, 
self-worth, your self-esteem, something like that, your ability to master your emotions or your strength, you know, it's like they've kind of wiped you clean of that and now it's time for you to release it, okay, it's time for you to let go of this emptiness, it's time for you to remove this obstacle, okay, and, and this is uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and I think you've been thinking about it, thinking about it, trying to think, you know, should I, should I give this person another chance, should we try to keep going, or, you know, is it really time for me to realize that it's time to shed the past? So I think it's, just, it's about making a decision. I think you have your eye or you, you have to, you're thinking about two people. What do I do? One of them is very, um, like glowing. Okay. One of them is really glowing and the other one may feel like they're a victim, you know, and, and, and push their, um, unhappiness onto you something like that i i really feel like there's there's a lost opportunity here or there's a new opportunity that would like to be offered to you for stability and security but you can't take it because you're stuck in some sort of situation right now and you need to free yourself and you're really removing the you're like i gotta remove these obstacles because i need to to go you know, I need to remove those obstacles because there's, the, you know, there's some obstacle here. There's an obstacle here that needs to be removed, and I, you know, so that you could go in a different direction. I'm not sure. You know, there's like a need for a rebirth here, okay? And that is your new direction. It's like there's a, there's a being born again into a, a different path, something like that. Um, and there you are. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. But this is you in this reading. You that has the best intentions and is looking for unconditional love. I feel like right now you probably have a choice between two people. And, and if you don't have a choice between two people, this could just be feeling like you want to get out and have more fun. You know, hang out with your friends or whatnot. Maybe they, maybe there's a couple of friends that are going to bring you together with the, with somebody else. Maybe it's this Taurus. You know, that could be certainly be the case, but it feels like it feels like you're you could be receiving some kind of gift or friendship or you know, this can go so many ways. But I feel like this has something to do with work. Maybe maybe um you could meet this person through work. Thing is, is it's in your hands. The future is in your hands. All right, it's all up to you. What are you going to do? I feel like it's a change in direction that's being offered to you and you don't know. You don't know if it will be stable. You don't know if it will be secure. So you're you're like, shoot, I don't know what I am going to do. I feel like many of you have been, there's like a, you're holding a secret inside cancer that you really want to do one thing, but there's some feeling like you're still stuck in a predicament and you're removing the obstacles now or you are think coming up with a plan to remove these obstacles that are holding you back from this renewal, this rebirth, this this um, beauty. Um, I really feel like, yes, yeah, the consequences of your decision. That's why you're weighing so heavily on it. It's like, man, the consequences are big. What do I do? What do I do? I have the these the this connection with somebody I feel like it's a connection and I don't know what to do here we we have what is it what is it do you want to, uh, you need to make a decision a clear choice okay you have options here do you do you stay where you're at and try again or do you move on to someplace else I think that many of you are thinking about two different people and this may not resonate with everybody there's this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn as well just seeing who else we have. We have a Leo here. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, yeah, we mostly have water and earth. So we have the earth signs and the water signs. Um, I think most prominently we have Taurus and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. So I, I feel like you have a choice and you have to and you're really contemplating what am i going to do what am i going to do what am i going to do because i think your heart says one thing and your mind says another but this could be the one 
Okay, because this is new growth. This is fertility. Okay, this is fertility. This is new growth. This is um, love. All right. This is somebody who loves unconditionally without expectation. And she's very motherly, nurturing, creative, feminine. Uh, she's just a beautiful soul. So this is man or woman. And men can have feminine sides as well. Very beautiful person right here. So I feel like this person, that one of the people that you're thinking about is this person. Very beautiful person. So, <laughs> Cancer. Taurus. Okay. So this right here is, is uh, you have to make a choice. Do you, do you move forward or not? Because, you know, there's a, there's, I think that you, you definitely need to make a choice. There's a, there's a union, but you, I think there's a split. There's some kind of split that needs to happen. There's some kind of breakup or something that needs to happen. Okay, so that, you know, <laughs> you're definitely dealing with an earth sign or a water sign. Now we have Taurus, again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's who we have. That's, what, that's who we really have here. So this is telling me that you have a, probably a choice between two people, and you just don't know what to do. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is Taurus. This is Cancer. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this could be the person you're letting go of because it's way down. It's not connected to you anymore in any way. Okay? So it's... Unless it is. Let me see. Well, it is. It is still connected to you. It is. Oh, this was down here. So anyway, it's connected to you in the in, but this this is on top. So you know you have to make a choice. You decide. It this is making a clear decision. This is the confusion that you're going through, okay? This is the confusion. You're going through confusion. What do I do? There's gonna be consequences in either direction. What do I do? So this can be any sign. So it doesn't matter what sun sign you're dealing with. Because you all have different aspects in our charts. Just telling you what I see. It's decision making time. I think in one direction you need, you know, you it's either a heart versus mind decision. Security versus love. So, I feel like you guys uh, have the ability right this week is a week of perhaps making a choice. Really thinking, contemplating, contemplating about what you're going to do. Um, there's definitely... Let's get a few more cards. There could definitely be some passion in your future. Okay. There could be some passion. There could be some excitement. All right. There, there's a change of course being presented to you. It could be a lucky break. You could call it that. But something has to die first because this is like a death. So I feel like you need to let something go, whether it's mentally, physically, whatever. Whatever you are, you are trapped holding on to with the Eight of Swords. Whatever obstacle it is that you're holding on to, whether it's with a physical person or somebody that's already gone or whatever. Whatever obstacle you're holding on to, you need to release it and head down into new territory. Okay, you need to have confidence. You need to have courage. You need to have uh, respect for yourself. You need to be let your passions be reignited. Okay, so I, I really feel like you have the ability to have an exciting week. Okay, have excitement in front of you, but you gotta ha you have to let go of something first. That's what I see. Interesting. There's a lot of choices here. There's definitely choices. What are you going to do? Either way, the Wheel of Fortune, when it comes up in a reading, it states that you, this is good. It's a good thing. It's bringing you close. Whatever's happening right now is bringing you closer to what you're meant to have, what you're meant to be with. There's a change of course that is being presented to you right now. This is a destiny card. 
It's the destiny card. So whatever change of course that is being presented to you, it's in your hands. It's up to you whether you do it or not because free will always plays a part. But I feel like if you were to let something die, there could be a whole lot of passion and fun and excitement right in front of you. In love. Good news related to a new relationship. It's up to you. It's in your hands. Do you want the wheel to spin or do you want to stay stuck? Because the decision is yours. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts. This woman is a healer. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security self-worth and importance and I think that you're lacking all the, all those things security self-worth and importance and I think there's somebody around you that can help you heal and have those things again that's this person right here that's who you become and this is man or woman you become this person who is very secure very worthy, very confident, very disciplined. This is who you become. This is a man or a woman, all right? With, with the help of somebody. I think there's like a team here. And this person could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Now, it's up to you. This card is the unknown card. It comes out when the decision is in your hands. You decide. Look deep. Deep. What does your soul want? Cancer. What does your soul want? Romance? Love, it's up to you. So I think there could be an opportunity for love this week. There could be. Talk to you later.